time is 6.29 p.m. Good evening. The news headline. Two major signs that shows that Jonathan may dump PDP for APC before 2023. The news in full. It is no more news that all leaders, all progressive Congress APC leaders are looking for all possible means to win the art of former president. Good luck, Jonathan, into the party. And um, the news analysis will be going alongside with the news because the national caretaker chairman of the party, Governor Maima Labuni, and other big wigs in the APC reached out to Jonathan to dump a PDP for APC. However, it was rumored that APC leaders promised to give automatic presidential tickets to good luck Jonathan if he decides to dump PDP for APC. Though Jonathan is yet to dump his party PDP for APC, but there are some signs that Goodluck Jonathan may dump uh, PDP for APC before 2023. And one of the signs that show that Jonathan may dump the party is that Goodluck Jonathan is not very active in PDP the way he should be active. It should be recalled that there is crisis in PDP. The governor of River State, Governor Yeson Wiki, and the embattled national chairman of party, which is a conduce, are fighting each other over the party uh, leadership. And uh, yet, uh, Good luck, Jonathan, has actually not, uh, you know, showed any interest in the way of resolving the matter. And another sign that showed that good, Jonathan may dump PDP for APC is that majority of Jonathan's loyalists have dumped the PDP for APC. It should be recalled that the former governor of Akwa Ibom State, Goldswill Akwabiu, and Senator Stella Udua, who is the senator representing Anambra North Senatorial District, dumped the PDP for APC. And this is an, also an indication that good luck, Jonathan, may likely drop uh, dump the PDP for APC before 2023 polls. However, there has been an illustration by one of the APC persons that it would not do, uh, that it should not actually do so, where he claimed as follows. For the sake of openness and transparency, let me start by stating that I am a bona fide and registered member of the APC and a strong supporter of President Muhammadu Buhari and his administration. I am one of the leaders of the of our great party in Akwa Ibom State. But I am too beclouded by some political interests to discuss national issues objectively. I have been quite distressed to learn that former President Gulag Jonathan is considering defecting to APC. I don't know how credible this story is, but the persistence of the rumor and Dr. Jonathan's unwillingness to issue a categorical uh, denial has fueled further speculations of his intention to join the governing party. The recent defection of Sten Senator Stella Odua from Anambra State, who was his Minister of Aviation to APC, and the recent flirtatious activities of Femi Fakayode around some APC chieftains have created the impressions that they are the advanced party of the former president in APC. FFK has been a brutal critic and abuser of the president, Vice President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and indeed APC itself since Dr. Jonathan left office in 2015. Initially, it seemed like FFK was mortally and irreparably hurt by the defeat, but in recent times, it too has been obnobbing with some APC leaders, funny speculations that is soon joining the party. I can see that many Nigerian politicians are fair readers, folks who indulge in bread and butter politics. They like ideological DNA, but only flock to whatever government is in power. For this reason, I would like to advise former President Jonathan to stay put in PDP, no matter the pressure on him to defect. He should resist the urge to join the growing tribe of bread and butter politicians by joining the APC. His reputation and respect would be greatly demeaned if Jonathan defects in the first instance. The owners of APC will never give him a presidential ticket, so of what benefit would his defection serve? Privately, APC members, including the president himself, consider the Jonathan presidency as a woeful period. Even with the crude oil selling at above $100 uh, dollar per barrel during most of his five-year tenure, Jonathan failed to achieve much. Rather, there was massive looting of the treasury and round tripping of foreign exchange in the system. The massive looting of the CBN vaults in the last days of his tenure to fund the 2015 elections remains a major stain on his reputation. Many people in my party do not have much respect for the former Nigerian leader. I insist that President Jonathan will better maintain whatever remains of his prestige 
as a former Nigerian leader by continuing to serve the nation and our continent as a statesman. In fact, he should retire from partisan politics and focus his time on en and energy on peace-building activities across the continent. I must commend him for what he, was, he has been doing in Mali as the special envoy of ECOWAS. If at 63, Dr. Jonathan might feel too young to resist the excitement of partisan politics, he will do well to restrict such endeavors to the PDP. But if the former president yields to suiting Kajoni from APC chieftains and defects, he will regret it. PDP members will pour all sorts of insults and abuses on him. They will throw the kitchen sink at him, including possibly alleging that he defected to APC uh, to avoid EFCC prosecution. They will then mention all the foibles associated with him. Don't forget they have the dossiers. Yet, APC will never give him the presidential ticket he's looking so eagerly for. Our party has its own tendencies and intrigues, just like every political platform. Mind you, how does Jonathan expect to move into a party field with political engines blocks like Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Ruti Miyamichi, Babatunde Fashola, Godswil Akbabio, Yemi Oshibanjo, and collect a presidential ticket at the drop of the hat? My suspicion is that there are people in APC who just want to lure Dr. Jonathan out for final humiliation. It is up for him to be wise. All over the world, the former president keep away from partisan politics and maintain a dignified presence in the affairs of the nation. They play fatherly rules and use back channels to offer advice to the government in power. They also get involved in charity work and international engagement. Dr. Jonathan should follow this pattern. First, he should continue his commendable work as initiator of West African Elder Statesman Forum on which he is working with former Liberian President Ellen Johnson Salif. That forum will help him in stabilizing fragile political situations in some of the countries in the sub-region. Two, President Jonathan should raise money to build his presidential library complex. It is a tradition in the U.S. for former presidents to build their libraries. They serve as major research, civic and educational facilities for the communities and other citizens. Former President Obasanjo ever so filled with good ideas has built his own presidential library complex in Abeokuta. Recall that when he left office as a military head of state in 1979, Obasanjo set up African Leadership Forum, which has been involved in leadership development, capacity building, enterprise building and economic empowerment since 1988. I am therefore mortified that instead of thinking about his legacy in similar areas, Gulag Jonathan, a PhD holder and former university professor, is flirting with the idea of moving from one political party to another. Who advises him on matters personal brand position in the police? Another preoccupation for Dr. Jonathan should be the lecture cycle. He should travel the world ar around and country delivering lectures on contemporary issues like climate change and dwindling resources in Africa, Nigerian challenge of cryptocurrencies, the clash of ancient cattle roots with Nigerians' checkered quest for modernity, among other issues. Jonathan can also take up international assignments in the UN system, leading peace missions and other duties. He should spend his time coaching African leaders on the importance of sticking to constitutional time limits. There are indeed so many things our former leader could do to help humanity beyond partisan politics. Even in the political front, Dr. Jonathan could help to rebuild his party. With another election cycle looming, the PDP has been thrown into a tumultuous crisis. Governor Yisong Wiki is fighting tooth and nail to control the party so he could hand over the presidential ticket to his good friend Aminu Tambo. However, the spokesperson to Gulag Jonathan has actually said that the rumors of this that it will change, I will dump, dump PDP for APC, is a fake news until it is the news is made known in the uh, proper channels. Thanks for listening. Good evening.